Alright Kieran, this is just a little bit on how to make uh, some doors move. So as you can see I've got the little corridor there, I'm just going to put two doors in front of there and get them to open. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the doors in. So you go to the content browser, that's my phone. Alright, what I'm going to use is just, I think it's called a, a door. Yep, these two. So you want to select one but don't drag it in because you've got to right click and add interp actor because that allows it to move when you uh, put the sequence in. So you want to add that one. Then the same for the other one. Add interp actor. Right. Um, for this video I'm going to, well, not this video, but anyway, both of these are going to be 1.52 dimensions. Right, just go in here. I'm just going to line them up to the door. That should do. And that one. I'm just going to do this roughly. I'm not going to make it like perfect because um, it doesn't really need to be perfect, to be honest. Right, so we just want to so make sure these are lined up properly so it looks okay when you actually run the video or the sequence. It's going to look shabby. Right, as you can see, they're lined up pretty much okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a trigger of where the door is going to open. So for that, I'm going to use. I'm going to use. It's like a, it's a light actually, but I like to use it as a trigger. So just search light. Um, there it is there. You can just drag that one straight in, doesn't need to be any special type of actor. Oh, really? Drag that one straight in. One second, Luke. Yeah? One second. So, sorry about that with my brother. Now I'm going to um, add a trigger, so just right click, add, where is it? add actor, add trigger, just move that on top of the button. You don't have to put a button there, just it can be invisible if you wanted to, so you can like, surprise the player. But for the purposes of showing you how to do it, I've got the button in, so you know where it is. So you're going to select that and then open Unreal Kismet. Hopefully it should open, there it is, yeah. Um, and then right click there, new event using trigger 1, which is the trigger you've just put in, touch. So basically that's just when that trigger is touched, it's going to create something, which is going to be, if you right click, in a new matinee. There you go, that's like the animation stuff of UDK. So you connect touched to play, so when the trigger is touched, it plays, obviously. Um, and if you double click on matinee, it should open up somewhere. But my computer's froze. There we go. So I'm going to matter. Okay. Um I'm going to make this five seconds long. So we'll just drag it over there. And I want that bit. Actually no. I'll leave that other stuff for now. Right, so first of all what you want to do is because you've got two doors, you're gonna need two different groups in this bit. So select one door, right click new empty group, just call it left door move. And then click on the next door and create another empty group, right door move. So as you can see if you click on one it highlights one door and if you click on the other it highlights the other door. So if you click on the left door one first, right click and then you should see add new movement track. So you want to click on that and then do the same for the other one. Add new movement track. Right, click back on the first one you made. Um, and what you want to do is it's called adding a keyframe. So depending on how long you want the doors to take to open, that's where you've got to add the keyframe. So mine's going to be a five second long sequence. So you just drag this little black bar up to five seconds and then this little button here, it's add a key, you click that. 
So what that's done is it's added a what's called a keyframe at five seconds, and then what you do is you drag the where you want the door to be after five seconds of play time. So I'm going to drag it just out here. That should do it. You can see a little yellow line appear just behind that green one. Yeah. So that's that one done. Uh, click on the movement one for the next one. Um, and then the black line's already there, so you just need to add another keyframe. That's done. And then just move the door across. That. And then that should work. Should have been the operative word. Um, so you just want to build all. Hope it doesn't take too long. Right, so we're back and it's built. I was paused it. So you don't wait around watching it build. Um so if oh wait there. Sorry, one more thing. Actually no, I've already got a play start in there. So if you click play it should well, yeah, you've got to put lightning and everything, but I did that before, so I didn't have to do that. There we go. There's the button, obviously, and then there's the doors. Hopefully, if we're doing it right, it should open. Walk over the button, and voila. I hope that helps, and thank you all.